Good morning, 91 FM listeners. Brittany here with another edition of Public Affairs for you. Today in studio, we've got Larry Berkey, Platteville's city manager, here helping us better understand what the bills mean that are coming our way in not only 2011, but also in 2012. Some of the budget issues going on. So how are you doing today, Larry? I'm doing excellent. He's a little nervous. This is his first radio radio interview, but I think you're going to do okay. Thanks. Now, Larry, why don't you just um, start off by explaining to us the 2011 budget. Okay. Um, the state of Wisconsin does budgets on a biannual basis, meaning that each budget they approve is a two-year budget. Um, the current budget process ends June 30th. And in order to fix that, the state of Wisconsin has approved a, um, a budget repair bill. Um, at the same time, they've also introduced a new budget bill starting July 1st, 2011. That'll go for another two-year period. Um, so the first bill is the budget repair bill, and um, uh, that bill is, is uh, pretty important. It impacts a lot of municipalities, a lot of school districts, and, and quite frankly, the, the university system as well. Um, across the board, people that were not contributing toward retirement are automatically going to see a 5.8% pay cut uh, as they are being expected to contribute 5.8% toward their retirement program. Uh, that's only one of the impacts of the budget repair bill. Uh, another one would be uh, cutting their health insurance. Uh, for example, um, an employee with uh, the city, uh, if they previously had not paid 12% uh, toward their uh, health insurance premiums, uh, they will now be expected to do that. Uh, the city of Platteville is is not uh, not part of that particular problem as we have a separate health insurance. We're not under the state of Wisconsin's health insurance. Uh, but the university system and the school district, of course, would certainly be impacted. And, and employees there are now going to be contributing more toward their health insurance premiums. So all in all, I, I guess it's a pretty tough time to be a public employee. I, I think most of them, most public employees are going to see significant pay cuts uh, as a result of, of the recently introduced bills um, in 2011 and, and probably going forward. And is there anyone coming up with a type of program or a type of aid for people in the situation who don't know how to balance for, the right stuff? For individuals? Yes. Uh, not that I'm aware of. You know, like an, like a service or an aid, like, that a teacher could go to, you know, who, you right. know, has kids at home, you know, needs the insurance, like some kind of a counselor right. or a financial advisor. Uh, that would be a, a nice program. Um, not to my knowledge. We're uh, probably going to need that one yeah. soon. <laughs> now, with there's been so many rallies and we've heard so much about this Madison bill, like the Everything that's going on in Madison has been so crazy. But there's also another budget coming out in 2012 that hasn't quite made it. Right. Uh, the governor has released his proposal for the next biennial budget. And within that proposal, there are other cuts that uh, the local municipalities are going to need to be worried about or concerned. Um, the city of Platteville uh, as a whole expects to see probably $250,000 worth of cuts under that bill. Um, cuts to shared revenue, cuts to transportation aid. Um, the recycling program is no longer going to be funded. Um, the, C the city of Platteville really is going to be meeting in the next two or three months to try to figure out how, if those proposals go forward, how are we going to address uh, the shortfall? Um, obviously, the city would not get that 250000 toward funding the programs. So either we have to look at what alternative revenue sources are there, or do we look at cutting back on our programs? How will the city address that? And, and really, that's where we're going to be looking in the next two or three months. Where does, how does Platteville fund itself right now? There's a variety of funding sources. Um, city of Platteville gets a significant amount of money from state aid. Uh, we have an $8 million operating budget and about a $15 million budget overall. Um, of the operating budget, Roughly 40 to 50 percent of that is state aid, and that's a significant amount. It's probably higher than just about, well, simply higher than most municipalities. Uh, we get a lot of money from shared revenue program. That's about $2.6 million to, sh to the city of Platteville. 
Uh, that comes from a uh, lower income population. It's a, it's a formula driven uh, set up by the state of Wisconsin. Um, we also get a significant amount of money from transportation aid. Um, that's measured on the amount of money you spend on repairing your streets or the amount of um, miles of streets you have in the community. Uh, again, that one's a, a little bit more unique. It's got two different formulas that you either are funded under one option or the other, whichever mm -hmm. is most beneficial to your community. Um, and, and there's various other grants and assistance programs. Um, we also get a significant portion from the tax base. Um, so the tax, the property owners in the community, um, whether you're a, a landlord or an owner-occupied dwelling, um, all pay taxes, personal property, excuse me, property taxes to the city. Now, uh, there's no specific, like, program or thing that you guys run where you, like, receive automatic revenue from it, like, besides taxes? Uh, well, the city has, uh, we've, we've got several different funds. And, and the funds I was mentioning earlier, the $8 million and the 15 are, the $8 million is part of our general fund, um, which operates and covers the general duties of the local government. We also have utility funds. Uh, utilities are structured so that they operate completely independently or, or could operate completely independently. Um, the revenue they receive is by user fees. So mm -hmm. as you use water, you pay your water bill or your meter charge, and, and that pays for the employees and the support structure that goes with providing water services. So that that's another way that we, we collect money. It's not always just taxes. Right. It's, it's user fees. Uh, we also have building permits that bring in money. Um, typically those, the money received from building permits are eaten up by the expense of providing a building inspector, um, which required by law. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of different funding sources and revenue sources. Um, we kind of just covered the ma major ones. Now, when you guys sit down, like, how do you guys even start to decide, like, where the money and the budget's going to be going? Like, how does that process go? <laughs> it's an important process yeah. that takes many months. Uh, honestly, we start probably in um, early June at a staff level. Um, we start assembling the budget for the city council to review, and uh, the city council probably won't see it until September or early October. And um, by the end of the year, excuse me, by the end of November, the state of Wisconsin expects us to have an approved budget so that they can print the tax bills that go out to residents or to property owners. Um, so it, it's a process that takes probably five, five or six months. And, um, you know, it, it, department heads are planning for it all the time. They're always thinking, well, 